Good afternoon, everybody. This is April Ross. We're live from the Beehive, and the Beehive has landed at the merry-go-round in the valley. What a tradition we always have here. But this year, we have something a little bit special and a little bit different. And I'm going to take you to the guy who's responsible for this, and that is Dale Jackson. Hello, Dale Jackson. Hey, how are you doing? Great. And tell us about this tent that people see when they pass it by. They normally just see the merry-go-round here every year, but this year we've got something different. Yeah, so this year uh, it's just part of our community and we've set up our tent here for the month of December uh, just to give the opportunity for everybody in the Lynette and Valley surrounding area to come out and enjoy the, the wonderful carousel. Mm -hmm. so. All right, well take us in. We All right, come on, we'll, we'll go inside. Tent. Yes, we do. Um, and I'm telling you guys, now you can get warm when you come to the tent, when you come to the merry-go-round. And y'all know the merry-go-round service a lot of people over there of the time span that it's on. Now tell us about the tent. Ooh. So, Oh my goodness, it's a big difference in here. Yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, it definitely breaks the wind. Uh -huh. uh, but the, the tent is one of those things that um, that we, we have to have, but we hope we don't have to have it. Okay. Um, and, and let me explain uh, that because uh, myself as a, a special needs dad, uh, throughout the, you know, we all kind of take for granted sometimes the events that go on in, in communities like the Valley and LaGrange and Auburn. And so often though, special needs families, that, that's not an option. Um, not only is it much more difficult just to get everybody up and, and clothed and out of the house, but normally what happens if there's any chance of inclement weather, um, then we're just not going to go as a special needs family. And so it all started back uh, on the July 4th weekend when we sponsored the fireworks uh, up at Pine Road Park. And so I was just kind of going through my head about my own family, okay? Realistically, how how is my family going to come out here and spend a whole day, you know, preparing to watch the fireworks? And then once the fireworks started, how do we do that? And so that's where the idea kind of came from was, we, we had already rented a tent to uh, provide lunch for all of our staff out there. And I, I thought, you know, we've got to air condition this tent. But most people think of this tent and because, you know, Jackson heating and air and it's, it's a heated tent, so that's great. Um, but that's not the most important part of this tent. Uh, the most important part is the is the area that you see behind me and we can go back there in a second and kind of show you but as most families with special needs if we don't have some place uh, to take take our child or, or even our loved one our husband our wife um, to deal with accidents that happen then that means we can't go to that event um, mm -hmm. and you know going to your typical public restroom is not an option and unfortunately for, for myself, my son's getting older. So now that he's nine years old and he's still not potty trained, it, it's not as easy to, to take the two or three year old to the car and change a diaper in the back seat. Mm -hmm. It's just physically impossible. So that's the reason why as we were kind of thinking about the idea mm -hmm. of air conditioning or now in the winter time, heating the tent, we, we then began to think about, okay, what's the next step that really makes it something that the family can go to? And, and that's where we have our, our privacy area here. Okay. And you can see that we've got mm -hmm. a full-size cot. Mm -hmm. um, we have a chair there for mm -hmm. nursing mothers um, wow. so that they can come in in, in privacy mm -hmm. um, and, and either nurse their child. And, and then primarily, though, that we've got the cot so that your loved one, you can lay them down, change their clothes, change their diaper. Um, for me personally, mm -hmm. just my own personal experience with my son, it, it's very difficult to go to anything for more than an hour or so and, and him not have some form of, of an accident. Mm -hmm. so, so tell us about your son. Uh, well, my son, his name is Colin. Mm -hmm. He's nine years old. He is severely autistic. Um, so that in the even though obviously the 10 is not specifically for autistic children, it definitely kind of came into play when, when I was thinking of the design and all of the different aspects, because for my son, like he would love to come here to the carnival, but I mean, uh, the, the carousel, 
but we never really know how he's going to react to, to any given situation. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of times that while he may enjoy it for a few minutes, uh, he may need to come here in the tent where it's a little bit quieter, where the lights aren't quite as bright, uh, and just desensitize for a minute. Mm -hmm. And and there again, you know, situations like that affect our whole entire family. I, you know, obviously I have a wife, I have two other children, so it's it's not fair to them to miss out mm -hmm. on the opportunity to come enjoy something as wonderful as the carousel because we don't know how their brother's going to react to the situation. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's that's another reason why I appreciate what you're doing here with this video and also what we try to publicize it because it's, it's hard changing the mindset of special needs families mm -hmm. because their, their natural tendency after years of conditioning is to just, well, it's, it's a great event and I'd love to go, but I can't. Mm -hmm. So they need to know that this tent is here so that they can plan to come so that they know that that they have a plan B mm -hmm. and and it's a plan B that you know we've put a lot of time and, and effort into but it's a plan B that I hope that families don't need to use it mm -hmm. now I think it's great like when when you can set up tables in here and we mm -hmm. can we've used it in a variety of different ways at, in different events and even corporately we allow people to use it and whatever however is best for the event they can use it however the one thing I will not compromise on um, is that every time this tents up there has to be a privacy area in the tent because that's the whole point mm -hmm. of the tent um, it, it's the the fact that it's air conditioned in the summer and heated in the winter mm -hmm. is simply to make sure that that privacy area is comfortable the the byproduct the bonus is everybody else gets to be comfortable too mm -hmm. um, and so the tent is open to everybody in the community um, but it's here specifically for special needs families wow because wow. I've seen the tent that was my first time seeing it actually at the um, we were broadcasting the football games right and um, my daddy was getting high and my sister said oh well, they have the tent now here and I was like and I looked and I was like, oh my gosh, I go to the games all the time. This is the first year, I guess, you guys have started this. Right. But, you know, it's just how we as human beings allow God to use us in such a great way. This is a great way to say, hey, you, you not only think about your son, but other families that often that we never think about how they have to go through what they go right. through to get to where they need to be. It's, it's one of those things that you know, if you're not a special needs family, then mm -hmm. there's there, there's so many things you take for granted. And I don't say that re with any resentment whatsoever. Right. I'm happy that other families can take it for granted. Um, but it's up to families that do understand. And we've been blessed here in the Valley, in LaGrange and Auburn, Columbus, that the community has, has, it, has given my company success and it's my responsibility as a corporate citizen to give back to this is my community and if we're not doing it then who will and and i don't believe i don't believe that everything for the public good has to come from the government i think it's the responsibility of businesses that benefit from the community from the people in the community it's our responsibility to give back to those communities and to serve those communities mm. and everybody in the community not just our customers not just the people who can pay mm -hmm. uh, and not just the people that we benefit from mm -hmm. but everybody but everybody and you've been at the parades um, and you take the tent to different areas and is that the main your main reason why you do that Absolutely, and, and in the in situations like, for instance, uh, at the fireworks display in July, and even the football games, and like the carousel here, and the parades, uh, a lot of times, like I mentioned, it's that it's the overload of light, uh, of noise, and and the tent can provide that desensitization. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure that's a word, but anyway, we'll go with it. We'll go with it. Uh, <laughs> you know, and then sometimes it's just to get out of the rain or get mm -hmm. out of the wind like uh, today. It's kind of chilly out there. Yeah, uh-huh. You know, Feel really and, good in here. And, and we've had 
a lot of people that uh, medics have had to treat uh, people inside the tent um, that have overheated, say, at the football game or we were out at the lake for the special day for special people event that the Corps puts on every year, and there were thousands of people out there. And, and we had a, an elderly lady, about 80 years old, that almost had a heat stroke because mm -hmm. um, she was just standing inside in line outside. And, and so she was able to come inside and cool down. The paramedics were able to treat her and prevent a trip to the hospital. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's really been a blessing, and I've been amazed and so thankful for Mr. Ken Carter, mm -hmm. who kind of heads everything up for us. Mm -hmm. um, so do you just find different events that people, or they just contact you and say, hey, we're having this event, we need the tent. Or yeah, it's, it's um, primarily now that more and more people are hearing about it, is they contact us to let us know about the event. Um, and and they, 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 everybody's getting to know Mr. Ken and let, they yes. know he's the go-to person for mm -hmm. the tent. Uh, so, and, and we're open to anything that we can physically do. You know, mm -hmm. obviously right now we have this tent uh, here at the carousel for the whole month. We have another tent at Sweetland Amphitheater uh, from now all the way until the middle of February. But we still have one more tent. And so that's the tent that we kind of go to other places just for maybe a one day event. Mm -hmm. um, and we do, we will do corporate events. Um, we ask that they cover the cost, and the cost is just simply what it charges. It, it costs me roughly about $1,000 to send a crew out for five or six hours to set it up, mm -hmm. and then five or six hours to come and take it down whenever it's over. Um, and so that's all we ask. But while I will do a corporate event and accept money for the tent, I'm not going to accept that event if that means us not being able to go to a community-wide event for free. Because this is free, right? Yeah, we're, we're, we're certainly not charging anything. You're not char charging to set this up through the duration of the carousel, is that right? Right. And it's just sitting here for free, the use of it. Yeah. Wow, that says a lot about you, Mr. Dale. I'm telling you, well, you've blown you. me away. And when I drove up, um, Mr. Ken was letting me know what we were going to be talking about today. Um, and that your main focus was on you wanted families to know that this was primarily just for special needs. You know, people can utilize it, but right. the main focus of it, of the tent. And also what I want, can, can we bring the gentleman right yeah, here? Yeah, come on over here, Tyler. Um, because we, you know, not only do we try to uh, care for... I told my love is shirt. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, not only do we try to care for the, the special needs community in our community, but also, I feel like it's important that we, we set a standard, set an example. Um, and, and Tyler is one of our favorite and, and most prized uh, employees. And uh, he, he takes care of our office. He also goes around to different events and helps greet people. And, and you know, it, it's up to us to provide an opportunity for everybody and regardless of their ability. And, and Tyler is by far one of our favorite uh, co-workers. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, and, and also for, for my own sake, you know, I'm trying to prepare um, our company mm -hmm. uh, for one day, hopefully, that so that my son can come and work alongside Tyler. Um, you know, and... Mm -hmm. And another very important thing, and, and this is something that is critical that I try to get the word out, is that sometimes it gets complicated. Um, you know, Tyler's been with us for over three years now, and mm -hmm. I feel like it's important for the people that work in my office to understand what I go through as a parent mm -hmm. and, and the joy that, that we have in, in guys like Tyler to come work alongside us, but sometimes it gets messy and sometimes things happen and but it's so much more valuable and it, it's life-changing when when you can come to a better understanding of what other people face on a day-to-day -day basis 24 7 mm -hmm. and uh, so that's just one of the things I'm, I'm most proud of with Tyler he, he does a great job mm -hmm. with us and he really cares about his job and it means a lot to him how long has Tyler been working with you all? Uh, I, time flies, but I think <laughs> it's been at least three or four years. Three or four years. Yeah. So mm -hmm. he comes in a few hours, a couple of days a week, and sweeps up. And Miss Susie puts puts him to work. 
mm -hmm. cleaning out folders and putting ripping the stickers off of them and putting them back in there. Mm -hmm. So, and he does a great job. But you allow people to get an opportunity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, is, that is wonderful. So again, this is Dale Jackson, you all. This lady, I'm just tuning in, but this is so awesome. <laughs> um, and for those of you who are just tuning in, we're actually at the merry-go-round here in Valley. And I know you guys have seen the tent. So probably some of you have already uh, been in the tent. Um, here, but uh, Mr. Jackson owns this uh, company, uh, Jackson Heating and Air, and he said, yes, uh, it's logoed and everything, but it's not what the tent was for. It was actually to give back to these families with special needs children so they can have an opportunity uh, as a parent of a special needs child to be able to be out here and enjoy with their other children, right? Yeah. Um, Andrea Cox says, my heart is full i'm literally in tears thank you so much for emphasizing the true purpose of the tent because people don't know i certainly didn't know i just thought people go in there chill out and get cool you know and come on back out and enjoy the games but now it has a special now i know this is a special meeting meaning what and, and, and one thing that I, I would like to say you know in, in closing is mm -hmm. One of the main reasons why we, we spend what we do spend in not only the tent, but in in promoting, it's not just to let families here in the Valley know about it, but my desire and my hope is, is that someone is gonna say, watch this video that doesn't live here in the Valley. And how powerful would that be? That, that someone that maybe is just driving through or that has a family that happens to live in the Valley, mm -hmm. that they can take it back to Gainesville or take it back mm -hmm. to Montgomery, Alabama. Mm -hmm. And because I can't I can't be in Montgomery, I can't be in, you know, Birmingham or Atlanta mm -hmm. or Gainesville. But somebody watching this video, maybe they're in those cities mm -hmm. and they could go share this idea with whether it's a heating and air company or whatever kind of company right. it is, it doesn't matter. But just share the idea and share their heart with someone else who maybe could do it in another community that we can't do it in. Well, Mr. Dale Jackson, I think God's chosen the right person for this, and that's you. Thank you. I think he, he has. He knows. He can, he can trust who's going to make sure that it's used for its greater purpose. And Mr. Ken just can't be in Montgomery and <laughs> <laughs> But he can. We know he can, though, because he will be. Anything you would like to add, y'all? This is Mr. Ken, who we've been talking about. He was actually at the Thanksgiving. Uh, where West Point was doing the, the Thanksgiving. What do you want to say when you see this going up? Because you oversee a lot of these. We are extremely proud and grateful at Jackson Heating and Air to be able to provide this for all of our customers and all of our service areas. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You guys, um, all of you who are on here, please, if you don't do anything else, please share out this broadcast. I'm asking you to do that for me, if you don't mind, because people need to know. I, I want this to be shared so people can somehow, maybe it can go to another city, a state around the world that we can help special needs family. Anything you would like to add, Mr. Jackson, before we let you go? Not not much at all. I'm just, we're, we're, we're thrilled, um, happy to serve, and now I finally get to go to the carousel with my whole family. <laughs> with your whole so, family. And I, I've never been able to come for them. We, we're looking forward to it this year. Looking forward to it this year. All right, guys, Mr. Dale Jackson, and please make sure you guys partake when you come down here and share out this broadcast. This is April Ross broadcasting live from the Beehive.